Hello, this is Hamid and I'm gonna teach you how to install FortiGate in Genus 3. First, drag the uh, FortiGate icon and then uh, click on Next and then select the Gen Run and the Appliance in Genus 3 VM and Next. And you see that it, we have we need here uh, some files, so I've already downloaded the FortiGate. Um, files you can download it from the FortiGate website and after that I import this file um, from my down download folder so it's gonna be a 40 OS file and I and then you can add the other file that you need the template of file you can download it from the GNS3 website so I've already downloaded and click on the next and then click on the next again and the summary that you have already access to the device with the username admin and the no password so then click on finish and your device uh, you can name your device because I've already had it so uh, I can access to my device. Uh, I drag a FortiGate and the Kali Linux on the my work space, and then I connect the FortiGate through the port one and the Kali through the Ethernet zero. And I'm gonna start both of the devices. So. Uh, I go to console uh, for the FortiGate and I configure some specific items because uh, by default the IP address of a FortiGate is through the DHCP you can set the uh, static IP address in FortiGate so I'm gonna set the static IP address uh, on a FortiGate and so I got IP address on the Kali, then uh, I connect through the Kali to the free gate. Uh, so uh, the Kali, uh, let me uh, run the console in Kali and alive, click on alive. I go back to free gate again. So the username is admin and password is blank. So here you can right show system interface to see the old interfaces in uh, for you case so you see that it by default is by DHCP and uh, I'm gonna set it as a static IP address so config system interface uh, you then edit port 1 you're editing the port 1 and set the mode to Oh, static so and then set the IP uh, you can uh, write the question mark to see that what is the IP uh, option here so you can set the IP address here uh, 192.168.10.1.255.255.255.0 and then with end and show system interface you can see the uh, IP is set on the interface and you have access ping HTTPS SSH HTTP and 48 manager perfect now we go to Kali Linux and set the IP address on the interface um, so it takes some time to uh, load the interfaces so I'm gonna Set the IP address on one interface and IPv4. So set it as a manual and set the IP as a 192.168.10.2 and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. I set the gateway to firewall 10.1. So apply that and disconnect it and connect it again and test the ping from my Kali Linux ping 192.168.10.1 perfect so it's connected to my firewall 
So now I'm gonna test through the HTTP to reach my firewall 192.168.10.1 uh, So the username is admin and the password is blank So you can change the password here and so I'm gonna click on the a later to change it in the later and you can change some configuration in system tab settings so your settings is here you can change the host name of your firewall let's say 48 fg and here you can set the time zone if you have an ntp server you can set the ntp server and you can set the uh, sync interval for your inter uh, NTP server here and if you have a local NTP server you can uh, set the interface you can set the HTTP and HTTPS port here by default is 80 and 443 and what else we can configure you can configure the self-signed certificate of your HTTPS and the SSH port, Telnet port. So by default, SSH port is 22 and the Telnet is 23. You can set the idle timeout for the SSH port and Telnet port. Uh, we have some configuration related to Wi-Fi settings. You can set the password policy uh, for the admin so you can set that minimum length of a password is gonna be eight and we require some characters uppercase lowercase and the password expiration you can set the password expiration the same thing for the ipfic and you can set the policy for both or uh, by default is off view settings uh, you can set the language and lines per pages so uh, you can set the team I can change it to blue and you see that the team changed to blue you have a date time display and the uh, next generation firewall mode and uh, you can set the configuration for your device and the image firmware and I apply this configuration I hope this has been informative and thank you for watching.